What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. CPS called on Blueface and Jaden after uh, S-word exploitation and starvation allegations. Child. Let's get it. This is your karma, okay? The same way you were sitting there trying to get Krishan's baby taken away by CPS and you was threatening her and all of these things is the exact same reason why CPS is not at your front door trying to take away your baby. Okay, because the thing about karma that nobody likes to talk about, baby girl, don't forget. Okay, yeah, when does CPS? Um, because I ain't gonna lie, I don't see it. She don't um, let me just keep watching. She don't come with a receipt, an expiration date, or a warranty, boo. Okay, karma is a fat bitch. Okay, and not only is she a fat bitch, she's a fat bitch in a two piece bikini with a bucket of Popeyes, <laughs> and she's at your front door. <laughs> Let's talk about it, baby. Because this is a big deal. Let's go. Oh. Welcome is back. The fuck over him. Hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for me. And make sure that you turn on my post notifications so you can be alerted when I upload a new video. I'm girl. Gonna subscribe. Three three three. Oh shit. Three 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 in the chat. Damn. Is a fat bitch. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth. It is cross right here. But you know what? I'm not even gonna beat up on myself too badly because Blueface, you asked for it, baby. You kind of deserve this. No tea, no shade. I'm sorry, I'm a little sweaty. Make a little sweaty shit sticking to me. I don't know what's going on. But um, you deserve this, baby. Blueface, for the last few months, you have been ragging on Krishan's parenting skills, talking shit about her twerking on stages and, you know, her smoking weed with the baby in her stomach and things of that nature. And while you do have some validity to those points, I'm not going to sit here and negate that. I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, he's just making these wild, outrageous, you know, accusations and he's overreacting. He's not. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't overreacting. However, the way you handled that was totally piss poor. It was, it was just unbecoming of a man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, unbecoming of a man. Hello. It was very childish, uh -huh. very bitch ass nigga behavior. Okay. okay. Threatening to get that woman's child taken away, threatening mm -hmm. to have your baby mama with her drunk ass raise the baby. With they drunk ass talking about, um, uh, so, so who gon' who you gonna have the baby? Head ass like they better. And not look at you. Not look at you. CPS is at your front door. Boop, boop, boop. Can we please, can we see the children welfare check? <laughs> That's what's going on. The same woman that you was about to have raised for Sean, baby, is the same exact woman that's drunk, staggering around while her kid is fumbling through a motherfucking pantry trying to find a goddamn cheese stick. Nah, facts. And you know what's so crazy? I didn't even, that didn't even register. I, I, I wasn't even looking at it like that. Granted, uh, children, child, every 30 minutes. They hungry as hell. However, um, he boy, he had about six Slim Jim, didn't he? <laughs> okay, a Pop-Tart or something, bitch. Just tie him over until these, these booty-shaking bitches get up out the living room so his mama can come to her senses and sober up and make a goddamn meal. Okay. Okay? That's, that's your baby mama. This bitch right here. That's your baby mama. The same woman that said that Miss Drunk as hell always over the internet just like Krishan was. Facts baby that little baby girl on that couch while them strippers was clapping ass all in her face yeah that she's that's who you gonna have rest for sean baby oh no 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 so i'm sorry y'all let me back up because i'm moving a little too fast if y'all have not heard basically Blueface was on live the other night well not on live he wasn't on live jayton was on live Blueface was uh just uploading stuff to his stories and basically they was at the house and the kids was there and I guess his assistant was there, and they was doing some kind of a music video shoot. I don't know why the kids was there. Because this music video shoot was very sexually explicit. It, was. it had women, uh, big booty. Not only being there, but right there. Like, all right, kids at the house, bet, take your ass upstairs, play some PS5. Now, the little, little baby, um, you know... I I would be the parent to have a camera for my child. Obviously, that little baby needs to be tended to. It was a little girl there that could at least watch the baby when the baby's in a walk or whatever. So she can hurry up and handle her business and then you can come the fuck back. But yeah, that's not how that went. And why were they down there? 
60 women, BBL body women, in <laughs> string thong bikinis, BBL. clapping ass all over that house. Okay, they was clapping ass from the roof to the basement. It was ass everywhere. Ass on the walls, ass on the dining room table, bitch. Ass in the trash can, ass in, ass in the dog bowl, ass in the dog bed. Okay, it was okay. ass everywhere. So, I'm just trying to figure out why the kids was there. Now, not only was the kids there, the kids was in the living room while the girls was clapping ass in their face. The mm -hmm. kids was on the couch, girl. And the girls was literally about three, four feet in front of the kids clapping ass. And Blueface realizes that his son is missing from this harem of children. Oh, my God, my son is missing. My son is missing all of this ass. I must find him. You know, it's what was on his mind. <laughs> literally was his thing. Like, I'm trying to figure out why you ain't watching his booty and you ain't here getting Slim Jims and shit. So he goes into the pantry and finds his son in there trying to, you know, scrape up cheese sticks, scrape up granola bars, scrape up Pop-Tarts off the floor, scrape up whatever he can to eat. Because, you know, he just hungry as hell. Because his mama drunk as hell walking around with a bottle of liquor in her hand, stumbling all over the motherfucking place. Not cooking no meals, not cleaning no house. You know, just not being a mama. Jayden was just being just real fucking piss poor. And I take special exception to a woman that allows her children to fall by the wayside for a man's activities. Because bitches and strippers and thongs clapping ass, those are male activities. But not only that, Jaden, like, what did Jaden have to do with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's something that Blue was doing, bet Jaden, why are you in there directing or whatever it is she was doing? And that was for Blue's video. And she obviously wasn't dressed to be in a video, so, so many questions. Definitely not something that a mother of two should be involved in, especially not while her children are present. So, Jayden, I really fucking hate you, oh, to be real with dang. you. I hate Blueface too, but he's a fuck boy. We've been knowing that. We, we, we've we accepted that fact. I mean, Jayden, I expected more from you, sis. I expected more from you. You know, this is real trailer trash behavior. It is what it is. So, moving on. He finds his son in the pantry and walks up to him and asks him why he's missing out on all the booty that's outside clapping and he goes on to ask his son is he gay and not only did he ask girl jesus oh girl i had a flashback hold on y'all not only did he ask his son was he gay but he asked him multiple times after the boy was visibly visibly um just disturbed he was visibly you know what i'm saying irritated visibly uncomfortable he was just looking Fred, at he was visibly trying to get a damn cheese stick slash trying to get a damn slim jam okay whatever them pop tarts he was talking about on that floor he was trying to get that i mean he looking at bro like what are you <laughs> to me it was more so like what are you thinking about what are you what you know what i'm saying <laughs> What do you want? Like, I'm hungry. You know, trying to wait for this awkward moment to pass, and he just kept asking. Son, come here. Uh-uh, not her back down. Okay. Oh, shit. You ain't gay, is you? Huh? Right. Are you? laughing because he's saying like i'm i'm just trying to get some slim jams like literally you ain't gay right my man my dog <laughs> my young <laughs> now here's my thing That's blue face thing. i don't know what kind of little boosty point you trying to make here Okay, I don't know what team you're a part of. If you're uh, on the team of, of, of fathers who like to get their son's virginity, you know, the Joe Jackson little boosie team that like to have grown women take their young son's virginity and crazy shit like that. Um, but this ain't looking good, boo. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know what make them be like, hmm, I just got some pussy. Let me go slide it to me. It's cool when obviously your son is of age, but the nigga be seven. Like, oh, let me go get my son some hair. Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, if he thinking about it, I get that. That's different. And that's still unacceptable. But what I mean is some kids voice their opinions on what they want. And, of course, another parent would be like, nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? No. You know? But 
Blueface would be the first one to be like, hell yeah, son, I couldn't wait. Do you ask for that shit? This ain't looking good. And furthermore, how are you going to question a little child about their sexuality? He's a child. He is a baby. He should not be sexualized in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Especially not by having a bunch of grown-ass women clapping their bare asses in his face. Do you know the kind of STDs, diseases, and bacteria those women were carrying? Okay? They shake ass in drug dealers' faces. Pimps. Okay, they hang around pimps and hoes and drugs and liquor and all Grown man. Grown man. All of that. Definitely not somebody you want to be clapping ass in your kids' faces. Baby, what? And my whole thing is this, blue face. How are you even questioning your son's sexuality when you still ain't answered yours? We still don't have a, the verdict is still out on whether you gay or not, nigga. Because every time Krishan get mad at you, she definitely bring up them gay rumors. Yeah. And in my experience, women, when they get mad at you, they tell your truth. They don't tell lies. They tell your business. And every time Krishan gets mad at you, she say, oh, well, talk about the gay stuff. Why you don't respond to the gay rumors? So that lets us know that some in your milk ain't clean, boo. Okay? You over there with Prince and Mo City and Mo Zesty and them playing the tambourine with Kirk Franklin's son. So at the end of the day, you don't need to be questioning nobody, especially not no little ass kid about their sexuality. I don't give a fuck whose child it is. So I mean, he can ask his son if he gay or not, obviously, because he's he his son. But, I mean, it wasn't needed. On Why did we have to hear that conversation? And then your reason is because he not in the living room looking at other grown women. My nigga, his mom is a grown woman. You want him to look at his mama? You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all may find that kind of crazy, but hear me out. You telling your son to look at grown women, all right? He see ass, he see titties. His mama got ass and titties too. He ain't going to know the difference because that ain't what the fuck he's supposed to be thinking about anyway. Oh, girl, that's a mess. Oh, moving on. So a blogger caught wind of this. Everybody caught wind of this, girl. It's been going, it's been going all over the internet. It went viral. You know, it's doing its rounds. It's making its rounds. And I don't know if y'all know this blogger. I'm going to put her little thing right here because I don't really know her name right off the top of my head. But it's the Nosey blogger that Nicki Minaj Okay, movement. if y'all remember, like, Maybe a year ago, a blogger had came out with some false allegations against Nicki Minaj saying that she was allegedly on cocaine. It was completely, um, completely false. So, you know. I ain't gonna lie. They bold as hell to be talking about Nicki, Beyonce, and Cartel. Uh, Nicki ended up suing her. And now, you know, I don't, I didn't know that she was still a blogger, but she is. And so she caught wind of this and her, her homegirl did a live where they was on the phone calling CPS on Blueface and Jake. And J.L. Vaughn is left to fend for himself to find some type of food. And what and what happens when he goes to school asking people if they're gay or saying something inappropriate because Alexa, this is what he says all the time. Make the now. light purple. Take the kids and give them to the sister Carl. At least they take proper care of them. So I guess Blueface has a younger sister. But they're saying that he, the little boy was hungry. He didn't have no food. And that's probably the reason why he went in the pantry to get himself, himself something to eat. But they're saying that the baby mama was drunk and the blue face was drunk. And wow. the son needed to eat something. I ain't gonna lie, this this is a bit much. Now, granted, I get everybody's concern, and I'm not negating that fact. But damn, to call CPS. Because he's not gonna stop doing what he's doing. And CPS ain't gonna come tomorrow. And nobody can prove that that boy wasn't, you know, hadn't eaten. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, he was in there looking for a Slim Jim or three, but these kids will have a whole full mind to have a full course meal right now and be hungry in an hour. Okay? That's just... This is a bit much on that CP. In a snack or something, and that's why he went in the pantry. Wow. So she was drunk on her life. Let me go on Blueface um, um, page. She was blocked. She was chat blocked. She was drunk on his page or on her own page? Her own page, and then she deleted all the videos. Ah, okay. Somebody screen recorded it, though. You know they always do. So I'm not sure if they were the only ones who called CPS. Probably not. But one thing I do know about CPS, just because one of my friends is a, a social worker, is once somebody calls CPS, you have an open case, baby. That's what it is. Like once you get a CPS case, it's there.
go outside about the piss. Here, um, it don't go away. You know what I'm saying? They might close the case if they find out it was made under false pretenses, but that's always on your record that somebody called CPS on you. So my whole thing is this. Why did you do this, Blueface? And if this is how y'all living over there, why would you record it and put it on your Instagram? What was the reason? You see, I'm just so tired of this social media era. I'm so tired of every everybody wanting to be viral. Everybody wanting to stay relevant. Everybody wanting to stay in the blogs to the point where y'all are literally jeopardizing y'all kids' safety, their well-being. If they get took out of their house and get put into the foster care system or a group home or something like that, God only knows the bad things that can happen to them. My thing is, why do you have to include the children? Like, Even if you in the house doing obvious shit that you grown people do, why the kids got to be included? And why you got to put, why they got to Instagram every fucking thing, bro? In the meantime, in between he time, y'all finally this. get them back. You didn't think about that? Blueface, you're 26 years old. You a grown ass man. You damn near 30. Okay? Jake and you too. Y'all too damn old for this kid shit. Okay? Too damn old. I don't know what kind of uh, 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 pills y'all over there popping, what kind of liquors y'all over there drinking. But baby, y'all need to dial it the fuck back. Because what that happened now is something y'all can't take back. Y'all can't take that video back. Blueface, you will not take back that trauma you caused on your son by questioning him with a camera in his face about his sexuality. He's going to see that video on the internet when he's 14, 15, 16, 17. His friends at school going to bully him with that video. Yeah, your daddy thought you was gay. Look, this why he did this. This why he did. You know, these type of things are going to happen. Ain't no going back. And that's the thing about this social media era. Once you say something or put something out there, it's out there. It's stuck. You can delete it, but maybe somebody screen recorded it. Somebody downloaded it or reposted it. Somebody... It's not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Even I have said things and done things that I can't take back and I got to live and stand on it. That's a fact. That. So this is one of them things where Blueface, you just got to live and stand on it. Um, you're a shitty father. Thanks. If nobody told you that, I would like to be the first one to tell you're a shitty father. You don't deserve your children. You don't deserve. Honestly, nigga, niggas like you don't even deserve life. Damn. You know like, nigga, like y'all need to just be rounded up, through on an island and just left to die. Like. I disagree with that. No shade, Blueface. You are a fucking menace to society. <laughs> he is a menace, but I don't agree with that. That's what you are. You're a menace to society and you are a scab on the ass of American <laughs> society, of Western <laughs> civilization. You are a scab on our ass. I ain't gonna lie, that's funny. I just feel bad for the, for the kids. I feel bad for, you know... The children, that's all. Uh, fuck the grown folks. They grown, they knew what they was doing. I feel bad for these kids. Don't y'all hate when new people move in and they disturb all the shit you had going on before they moved in? What they gonna have to go through if the CPS case actually takes wind, gets a win behind it. I pray it don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see nobody get no kids taken away. I would like to see Jake and, and Blueface get parenting counseling. I would like to see Krishan go with them. Let's get everybody in the house parent, parent counseling. Let's go. Everybody just go to counseling. Everybody go to counseling. Okay? Field trip. Family trip. Woohoo! Bitch, let's go. So, um, that's all I got to say about it. This is some bullshit. This is <laughs> This is just, it's, 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 it's beyond me. Okay. Listen, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I don't necessarily know if she was um, calling CPS, but uh, I feel where he's coming from in general. Uh, you know, it's just like nobody want to see children go through certain things. That's a, a sensitive thing to the world. And, you know, it's just no need for you to show your child doing any of that. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.